Good morning. It is going to be another day at home. We still have one kid on the mend and well, I guess two kind of. Um, they're better, they're much better, but we didn't want to go to our weekly Bible study with bringing any germs. So we're gonna be home. So I just edited my video for tomorrow. I threw in a load of laundry and then I'm gonna make these really delicious two ingredient crepes that I've been loving. It's just eggs and cream cheese. Well, I guess there's more ingredients. That's the basic recipe. And then I added a little vanilla and a little... What? You have that? I'm gonna make them. You have it? I'm gonna... <laughs> and then you put in a little vanilla and a little cinnamon. And I suppose you could throw in a pinch of salt, but very simple recipe and it's like a quick crepe that's high protein, so it's great for everybody. So I'm gonna make a batch of those today. All right, so to make these crepes, you do, this is very adjustable. You can make more or less. It's just a basic recipe. I do eight eggs and then about, I'd say five ounces of cream cheese, a little more than a half a block of cream cheese. But I mean, I already used some of this, so maybe I'll just do the whole thing and do 10 or 12 eggs. And then like I said, a little bit of vanilla, maybe like a half a teaspoon, a little cinnamon, and just a pinch of salt. And then I just blend it all in this little like ninja food processor. You could use a blender, you could use like a magic bullet, you know, again, a very easy basic recipe. So the batter is very runny. I wound up doing a dozen eggs and the rest of that cream cheese. I figured I might as well. If I'm making a little bit, I might as well make a lot. That's just my life right now. All right, so I have two pans going with the crepes and I just made my coffee. I still make this spiced coffee that I love so much. I put right into my mug a little bit of allspice, ginger, and cinnamon and about a capful of vanilla extract. And then I put my heavy cream in there. So everything is together. And that way when I pour my coffee, I feel like the pouring of the liquid kind of mixes everything. So that kind of helps with, like it doesn't just settle on the top. If you put just cinnamon on the top of coffee, sometimes it just sits there. It doesn't really want to mix in, but doing it this way, sometimes then I'll take my fork and give it a little stir. And it's just the absolute best. Yeah, buddy. Just cooked up some eggs as well to have on the side, even though they are half egg. It's, I like having an egg with it as well. And then I pulled out this roast that I had been thawing yesterday and then it was in the fridge overnight. Now I'm gonna continue to thaw it and that will slow roast in the Dutch oven and that'll be dinner tonight. I had placed a Walmart grocery delivery just for a few like household things that we needed. Shampoo for us, shampoo for the little ones, barkeeper's friend, this I'm bummed about. This is not what I wanted. I needed a different kind of bathroom cleaner and they substituted this. So I think I'm gonna return that. I, I don't want that. Then I got a bunch of frozen strawberries and pineapple. They didn't have the large bag of strawberries, so they gave me four small ones. And just some toilet paper and uh, paper towels. Oh, and then I also got two different bags of flour. I decided to get some bread flour to try with my bread maker. And we'll see if it's any different than when I have been using the wheat gluten. So we just spent a lot of time outside cleaning up like yard debris, just things that have kind of accumulated over the winter, sticks and things like that, and some broken toys you know, just the general maintenance that you kind of have to do. I went through my, uh, what are they, my peony plants. They're not bushes yet, but they have the little sprouts coming up and I never cleared away the old, you know, dry stuff from last year. So I just cut all that out, threw it, you know, in the woods and that's all cleaned up now. Cleaned up some other little flower beds and just did a little bit of stuff outside. We're gonna have quiet time in a little bit. Unfortunately, one kid who I thought was improving is actually not and really not feeling well. So uh, I feel so sad about that, but I'm just doing you know, the best I can do to make them comfortable. So I also remembered that I have a meal that I'm supposed to be delivering to a family. We do this meal train delivery system 
and I had signed up weeks ago and I um, was debating what to do. I really felt bad canceling. I didn't want to cancel, but I also didn't want to drive a sick kid over there. So I decided I'm going to send them pizza. I just texted them and they told me their favorite place and what kind of toppings they liked. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna order and have pizza delivered and, and salad probably to their house, which I really feel bad. I wanted to bring them a homemade meal, but I figured it was better to order than to cancel. So I'll have to place that order. I don't know how far in advance, maybe just like an hour or two in advance of like dinner time. That should be fine. All right, kids are either down for quiet time or just resting. And I'm gonna make myself a little afternoon drink. So for years, I only drank water and maybe I'd put lemon in it. And I just felt like I was always dehydrated. And then within the past year or two, I realized and I learned how important electrolytes are. And if I only drink water, I'm sort of flushing out all of those minerals. So I have really been enjoying drinking this Peak BT Fountain. And you can see actually the box is almost completely empty. I have two left. These are my last two. I'm just going to mix this up into 12 ounces of water. So not only does this taste delicious, but it can help replenish those electrolytes and trace minerals that we really need to feel hydrated. The electrolyte minerals like magnesium and potassium help my skin to absorb water more efficiently, which helps keep it looking plump. It helps reduce fine lines. I am getting older. I'm in my late 30s. It's also made with the highest quality ingredients, which helps your body to readily absorb all of those minerals and nutrients. So on top of all that, it's delicious. It's so refreshing. It has this yuzu berry flavor and sometimes i'll even put like a squeeze of lemon in it and put it over ice it's so delicious so if you're anything like me and you're interested in youthful skin and deep hydration you can check my link down below and for a limited time you can get up to 15 percent off plus a free cup and rechargeable frother with your order so again if you're interested check the description box below all right i just pulled out my sourdough i haven't used it in a little while it's just been sitting in the fridge I'm going to let it come to room temperature, then I'm going to feed it because tonight I want to make some bagel dough, which I do in my bread machine because there is a dough setting. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some bread. I'm going to make another loaf of bread because that takes three hours. And then tonight, like right before bed, basically, I'll put in all the ingredients to do the bagel dough and then we will have bagels tomorrow morning. I made a video where I shared how I did that and I don't know if I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. So if you want to see the whole process of, you know, how I shape them and bake them and all that, you could watch that video because I don't think I'm going to be uh, filming tomorrow. Then I need to get to some cleaning. We have quite a mess going on over here. is kind of tidied up, caught up with laundry, uh, the dog just got a bath, and we have Peter Pan on right now. So I am going to make a loaf of bread. I'm going to use this bread flour instead of doing the all-purpose with the vital wheat gluten like I've been doing. This is actually my first time trying to make this bread recipe with just traditional bread flour. And that is the only difference, is the wheat gluten content of bread flour is higher than all-purpose. So that's why you add it in when you use all-purpose. So I'm just melting my butter over here and I've shared this recipe a bunch of times. So I'll just link it, I'll type it out in the description box if you wanna see it. So I'm gonna get that in, it takes three hours. So this should be done, you know, before we go to bed. So I'll take it out and then maybe leave it open for a little while, try to get it to cool down before I put in all the ingredients to do the bagel dough. Hi, I'd like to place an order for delivery, please. 
Can I please have one large plain pizza? One large bacon and olive? Do you have a balsamic? Okay, perfect. Ben's there. I'm this bell right here. Okay, hold on. Dan's home, so I'm just stealing away here for a second. It has been kind of a rough day for one of my kids. I feel so bad. Things just definitely took a turn for the worse. So hopefully, you know, rest is best and whatever's going on just needs to make its way out of the system so it, it's kind of been an off day we've gotten some things done you know i still have my bread going that should be done soon and then i'll make my bagel dough but the kids all watch peter pan and then they watch tarzan it's just been like a you know whatever comforts you in this moment that we'll just do that today i'm just really praying that tonight is better than the previous couple nights that everyone can just have rest and that we can get this completely out of the way, have a nice weekend, and then be refreshed and ready for next week. But like I said, Dan's home, so we just had dinner and I'm just going, I already cleaned up the kitchen pretty much. I'm gonna run the dishwasher and I have a load of laundry in the dryer because <laughs> the dog made a huge wet mess all over like towels and the bath mat so i washed all that just waiting for that to dry it just takes forever our bath mat takes forever to dry so once that's done i can put all that away and just rest this evening myself you wash them? You can use both hands. there you go you get them all clean all right it's only about like 7 30 but the boys are clean and they're going down to bed. Dan's gonna read to them and say goodnight. Jude did not nap yet again today. Definitely in that toddler nap strike phase. So it's been a weird couple days, so it's not surprising, but they are ready for bed and I'm going to hop in the shower myself, rinse off, do my skincare and just wind down for the rest of the night clearly they're not yet asleep but that is gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll be talking to you soon take care bye